Hey guys, it's Joshua Woods back at it again with another video. Um, and today is going to be kind of a little bit of a different video than what we usually do. Today we're going to be doing a video over the top five winter baits. Um, my top five favorite winter baits that I use in, during the winter. Now, I'm going to start off with the hard baits, the um, ones that are like not, the the, pl the um, hard plastics. My and the number one, my favorite so far right now that I'm doing a lot of successes is this. This beautiful red eye um, has a red red laser eye on it. As you can see, that I don't know if you can get that on camera. Has a um, it's a deep diver if you couldn't tell. Um, has three tr treble hooks on it. Pretty very very sharp. This is this these lures. I have two of them. This one, however, did not make the cut for the winter time. Now summertime, this is a really good bait for me. I'm most people like it using it in winter, but I, this is a summertime bait for me. And if y'all want to know how long these baits are, they're about as long as my hand. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've the biggest bass I've ever caught on one of these. Um, would probably be somewhere between three and four pounds. Um, but it has a really characteristic, really nice rattle to it, and it's going to be diving like this, so it's going to be making a lot of noise when it's going down. So that's an excellent bait. Now here's another. Here's another deep. This is a deep diver that I really, really think is an underrated deep diver that I think sh I love using this bait right here excellent excellent bait this is a hellbender has a little bitty flasher at the end of the tail here has two fairly large treble hooks um has a kind of an awkward bill it has same action same action as a Deep as any other deep diver would, or as a square bill, as some people like to call. Them. It has a really nice characteristic um, throat slash down there. Is that's what I like to call it. But most people say that this little um, flasher dealy down here, this um, spinner, this small little spinner, makes doesn't make a difference. I'm telling y'all guys, it makes a huge, huge difference. The, I've, the biggest fish I've ever caught on this it was actually not a bass, it was a snakehead. It weighed about 7 pounds, and I had to replace a couple of my hooks because I was using really, really small hooks on a bait this big, and I had to replace them with a little bit larger hooks. But the biggest bass I've ever caught on this is about 7 pounds. Not too bad. Now let's, um... That's number. Those were number um, one and two. I know that I'm not going to count that those two deep divers at the beginning. I'm going to count one of the only one of them deep divers at the beginning, um, because I mean they're basically the same bait. They're just different colors. So let me get this thing open real quick. There we go. Another fate. Another winter, I mean, winter favorite for me is again a deep diver, and most people are gonna make fun of me because I chose this color. Pink rattle trap. It has the characteristic rattle of a rattle trap. I'm not lying to y'all guys when I say this. This is probably the best color rattle trap I have in my tackle box right now, and I have some pretty good colors in my tackle box for rattle traps. I have this one. This mops mops up on bass. Um, in winter, in winter, um, in the winter time. So this, I'm so, this one and this one tied for that spot. I'm gonna say, cause they're both equally as good. This is a good color for spring. I find this best color for spring. Um, another good color is this color. I'm, I'm sorry if it's this thing is hooked. This is another number one contender for um, best winter bait. Because I like most of the tackle box things I have in this tackle box are made for winter, so um, you're gonna see a bunch of rattle traps and stuff in here. Um, then again, I have another um, smaller version of a hellbender. Um, has some 
has a like I said has a small spinner on the back. Most of my Hellbenders have small spinners. Yeah, see both of these are really this is a smaller version of the bigger Hellbender that I showed showed y'all earlier in the video. Has a little spinner on it, so does this yellow one. I have a blue one somewhere, but I, and it's about the same size as these, but I do not know where it is for the life of me. Now these, a lot of people look at these for winter baits. These are deep divers. Really, they're really. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've had this bait, these baits. I have two of them. These are not for bass fishing. I know they. These were. These are look like a bass bait. I've caught nothing but crappie on these, and I fished with these for over a year. Like honestly, I've and they're pretty good size. I mean, they're at least three inch. They're almost three inches long. That's what it looks like on my hand. They're almost three inches long. I mean, and I've caught nothing but crappie, and I have fished in a bass infested pond, and I've caught nothing but crappie. It's shocking. It really is like. These are real, I, if you're going crappie fishing, I suggest using these, like, honestly, these are really good crappie baits. I've never caught a bass on this, but I'm not saying it can't happen, so. Be optimistic, guys out there. Y'all have to be optimistic when y'all go fishing. Um, but, here's a, I'm going to go into the, um, jig portion of, of, um, the video. And say, this is the jig head I use. I, um. I unfortunately you don't it doesn't really freeze over the lake doesn't so I never get to ice fish I bought this ice fishing jig head um at Bass Pro and I never really get to use it other than like just I never ice fish with it because you I'm live in East Texas and you can't really ice fish with one of these I'm putting on a um favorite of mine that is a small plastic jig most of y'all are going to be a little familiar with what it is once I show you most of the old people in the comments like the like the people who fish when they were young like like the senior citizens and stuff probably and like some 20 year olds like when so, when they this is going to bring a bunch of people back to their youth the puddle jumper the pearl white puddle jumper tears bass crappie bluegill all kinds of stuff up i really suggest this is a number one best buy if you're going to catch crappie and bluegill and bass i mean i've caught numerous species on this bait and pretty good size too that's my dog ignore it please because i mean I, honestly been doing that all night I'm surprised it hadn't done did, didn't do that earlier in the video another favorite of mine now this is probably one of the most unique baits I think I've ever used not because I mean there's a lot of baits that look like it but I mean there's not really many um, of these in the same color it's monkey milk sh um, small little shad looking things shad dealies monkey milk baby shad if you can see up on the um, top right hand corner, um, crappie, it's a Bobby Garland baits. Any baits that are made by Bobby Garland, crappie baits, are going to be good. But this is what it looks like out of the package. It's not big at all. I mean, honestly, it's like not even any, it's probably just one inch long. It's really, really small. And it has this really, really thin tail. And it kind of, it kind of looks like just like clear with black flakes in it, black and blue flakes with it's kind of silvery in texture. I mean it's it's really really garlic. It smells like garlic. Like it smells like utter trash. So I do not suggest you. I do suggest you wash your hands after messing with this lure. Um, or just like stick your hands in the water and w like wash them off a little bit. But this is what it looks like when you put it on the jig head. You can almost you can see through it. Like you honestly, you can see through this. Now when it this I've mopped up on crappie. Like I said, that's the name. That's why they made it for crappie. And I've mopped up on bass and bluegill. And I've also ex caught an exceptional number of catfish on this lure, which is kind of 
kind of rare considering it's on a jig. Very, very small jig. And I mean, the hook, I've caught two inch perch on this hook before. I mean, this is a really small jig head. Um, but I hope y'all guys enjoyed the video. Um, I mean, I, re I really, um, I do suggest you using this bait, Bobby Garland. I do suggest you using it. I do suggest you using all the baits in my slideshow today. I mean, or not my slideshow. I did a slideshow presentation earlier today. That's probably why I have it on my mind. But I do suggest you definitely using it, using these baits. But there is one bait I have to show y'all that I think y'all will enjoy. This is from my saltwater box. And boy, I have some of the craziest stuff in my box, in my saltwater box. You might have seen this in a previous video. I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on it. I'm looking for it. Probably won't even find it. Oh, no, yeah, it's in there. I see it. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I have used this for bass fishing. And I've caught one bass on it. And it was a five pounder. Now, how I caught it on this is shocking. This. Look at it. Just take a good long look at it. I'm holding this in my hand. Look how big it is. Okay, so this is like the tip of my hand, and it exceeds the width of my hand. So this is probably, this is the biggest spoon on the market. Cost roughly $26. I went on Amazon and bought it for $2. This is what you use for tuna and marlin. And I did, and I went out there and bass fished with it for about four hours caught one bass in five and a half pounds and this is it's I'm not it's not a good bass bait I'm gonna tell you that I mean you I'm not saying you can't catch it on one because I've caught well I've caught one bass on this bait and it was a pretty good size one if you're going saltwater fishing you're going out there for laying marlin all kinds of um crap like that that Best Buy right here. You do, it has a like it it spins the spinning action. Excellent bait. You'll catch fish like this. I know the words are showing through. This is a newspaper article. You'll catch fish like this mackerel. You're if you're lucky, you'll catch fish like this. This. But what you won't catch, I don't think, we, I've caught about a four inch one of these down here in Texas, which is shocking. One of these pickerel, that's a northern pickerel it looks like, but I hope you enjoyed that little game, I mean, not, why did I say that little game, but that little um, video that I did for y'all. Another good bait for winter, I know this is going to drag on forever. But I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on jig head and show it, cause I'm. I mean, it's a it's a grub. This one is a grub, perfect for small, perfect for being a trailer for a small spinner bait. Bobby Garland does make like really really tiny um, swim bait. I mean jig bait, not jig baits. Um, spinner baits that you can use these for. This is a pink pinkish color. Now when I go saltwater fishing, I have caught flounder, pretty good size keeper flounder on this before um I have but this is a really good spec bait as well but per perfect bass bait crappie bait half caught bluegill and half caught catfish catfish on it now um this is the I w this was sent to me a couple of months ago by a fan which is shocking because I don't have many fans but um this is a ridiculous lure and I appreciate whoever sent it to me Cause I'm gonna go try this out. 
I'm gonna make a video over it. I promise I'm going to make a video over trying this out. And I'm gonna fish for a good 30 minutes with it. And if I catch something on it, it's going in my tackle box. But if I don't catch anything on it, um, I'm gonna send it back to them. So here's what it looks like. It looks like absolute ridiculous. It looks ridiculous, like honestly. I like the the color pattern is good on it. I like the color pattern, but look look at the bait. It looks like this part was chopped off, and the hooks are not really in that good of condition. Um, you want my thoughts on if I'm gonna catch anything on this? I don't. I honestly don't think I'm gonna buy catch anything on this. I might get a few hits from bluegill and stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna catch anything on this. But anyway, without that, without all all that being said, man, I'm getting my words mixed up today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and for the end of the video, I think I'm gonna give y'all a little treat. Um, where is it? Um. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of an electric show with this right here. This is excellent, excellent. This is Now, do not stick your hand on this because it will shock. I'm sure everybody out there with common sense knows that. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, put this here, hook it. Hopefully, I can get it to shock. There we go. Y'all get a little bit of an electric show going on there. I don't know if y'all are getting it on. But anyway, guys, that was the show. I hope that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all did, leave a like, comment below. And maybe you might get a chance to be featured in one of my videos. Which I know that isn't saying much considering I'm not really, I'm not a big YouTube channel at all. I just have 10 subscribers. But hopefully I can change and turn into 11. So go down, subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Peace.